Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Diane Desiel and today we're finishing the skirt overall. So we will do the plan and trace out all the pattern piece of the back. Now just like we did for the front, fold your skirt block and start tracing it. Don't indicate the notch or the pivot. Here I forgot to trace my center back line, so I'm going to trace it right now. Then I could place my bodice block right over, touching the waist and side seam of the skirt. Then I could trace the contour, except for the waist. Now for this style, the style line I will be doing is a yoke in the back, and I will cut the top part so I could do a separate strap piece. I'm going to do a little pocket in an angle, and I'm also going to need a double extension for my back. Now before to do the style line on my back, I'm going to report two levels that I'm going to need from the front plan. And it's the opening on the side seam and also the top of the waistband on the front. So I'm going to report from the bottom, the bottom of the side opening and also the top of the waistband. Now for this one, I'm going to connect a straight line from the bottom of the opening to the top of the waistband level. I'm going to start by doing the little extension to match the one that we did in the front. So we have to do it the same measurement. In the front, I did a 2.5 centimeter. And don't forget to elongate it with the same measurement, two centimeter. Now for this extension, the top part is going to be straight and the bottom part could be curved just like we did in the front. We are ready to trace the yoke style line and you could trace it wherever you like. But today I'm going to give you the measurement that I am using. So here from the top of the waistline level, I have four centimeter. And from the waist of the skirt tracing, I have about 6.5 centimeter. Now we're going to trace the top part of the overall. It is the contour, but it's also a style line. So you could do the shape pretty much like you want, but I'm going to do the top part in an angle and just curve down until I meet with the soft line, the extension I did for the side seam. Now let me give you the measurement that I use for this size 10 women overall. From the original neckline, I did drop it 11 centimeter, and then I went another four centimeter down to create a point. And at this level, I put 7.5 centimeter. Then it's just a curved line that is continuing with the extension. Now to be able to trace the strap piece, you're going to need your front again that you're going to fold at the shoulder line. Then place it right next to your back pattern. Now the next thing you have to do is get the measurement for the width that you need for the suspender clip that you have. It could be really different thing depending on what you find or the real suspender clip like this one. It could also be a buckle. It could also be double D-ring or even suspender clip like this one. But the important is that you get the measurement of the inside of your clip. So we do the strap the proper size. Now when you measure, of course you measure the inside, but you also should remove a few millimeter because of the thickness of that strap. So here, for example, I have 3.8 centimeter, but I will do my strap with a 3.5 measurement. Now we're going to start by placing that measurement we just found on the top part of the bib area on the front. Then using your French curve, you're going to connect the top part of the back yoke with the first side of the strap width. The other side of the strap could be done in a straight line from the back yoke at the other side of the angle to the second side of the strap width on the front. Now to be able to move my plan around, I'm going to put two pins to hold my shoulder together. Now the last thing to do on my back plan will be 
the skirt pocket. Here again, the pocket could be traced by highs. It's up to you. It's only a matter of style. But usually, the side of the pocket are traced parallel to your center back. And you keep a little distance from the yoke line before the opening of the pocket. First, with a pencil, I did trace pretty much the size of the pocket and where I want it. Maybe you cannot see it, but that's what I did. Then I made really straight line parallel to the center back. I report my parallel and then I trace the second side. For the top part, I put a measurement of 1.5 centimeter. Then what I'm going to do is trace square with the center back the two corner of the bottom of my pocket then to make it even on both sides and make the point centered i'm going to measure this line and find the middle then i'm going to decide the length i want the point and when i have it i'm going to connect to both sides now let me give you the measurement for this pocket but again don't be shy to change the measurement it's all matter of style the length at the center back is about 10.5. The length on the side seam is about 15.5. The width of the pocket is about 12 centimeter. And I went down an extra 3 centimeter. Now before to say that the plan is complete, I'm going to ask you to add some notches. And I would put a double notch on the yoke line. Make sure you don't center the notch. Then you could add another double notch to assemble the yoke with the strap. And the last thing we will do is put punch holes for the pocket placement. And we are going to place them exactly like we did for the bib pocket. So you go down one centimeter and three millimeter inside. And we do the same thing on the other side. Now that my plan is finished, I'm going to trace out all the pattern piece, but to be able to do it all in the same time, I put multiple pieces of paper for each area. So for the pocket, for the skirt, for the side opening, for the yoke, and for the strap. I put my paper piece big enough so I could add my seam allowance and my hem at the bottom and on top of the pocket. Now I will be able to add my seam allowance and hem on each of these pieces. And I'm going to start with my skirt part. So I'll be adding a four centimeter hem and a one centimeter on the rest on the three other line of the contour. Now the information, I will start with the punch hole. So the one that you did drop one centimeter and three millimeter inside. These go only on the skirt part, not on the pocket. So I'm going to place my punch holes. Then we're going to trace the grain line parallel with the center back. And this piece is going to be cut two time in self. Then what you need to add is simply the notch for the hem on both sides. We will continue with the skirt pocket and we will add the hem on top. So at the opening, we could do a hem of 2.5 centimeter and then your normal seam allowance. So one centimeter on the, the four other side. Then we're going to cut on the hem line. We're going to fold on the finish line, then cut all around. Now what we're missing is only the grain line that we could trace parallel to one side of the pocket. And this piece is also going to be cut two time in self. Now we're going to do the opening piece. And if you remember from the plan, there's a curved side. So I want you to fold on the straight part of that side of the opening piece. Then you'll be able to add the seam allowance. Now here's my piece. 
I simply duplicate my notch so I did it while my pattern was full to get it on both sides and the grain line could be right on your middle line and this piece is cut two time in self fabric now we have the yoke piece that is going to need seam allowance so it will be one centimeter everywhere except on the curve line where you're going to put 1.5 centimeter to be able to roll twice. We now have to put the information so we start with the grain line that is parallel to the center back and this piece is going to be cut two time in self fabric then we have the last piece that is the back strap and for this one we need to do a little modification or a little add-on in the length of the strap and it all depends on the system that you pick for your attachment here i'm going to do the normal one we need two layer extra so i figure out that we need an extra 10 centimeter on the length now if you remember you have a straight side and a curved side so take the straight side and just elongate your strap by 10 centimeter then you could just trace the second side parallel touching the original point that you have on your strap so you're going to move your ruler to have it parallel and you just trace the top part square now the seam allowance here is going to be one centimeter at the bottom 1.5 centimeter on both sides of the strap and you don't really need seam allowance at the end since we have extra now we're going to take the pieces again and we're going to cut a few corners so it's going to be easier for your assembling so take your piece, I'm going to start with the bottom part, the skirt part and the yoke and you're going to place them overlapping the way they're going to be sewn together. So you're going to overlap your notch and you're going to see that you have little point coming out both sides. One time you have to cut the point on the yoke part and one time you have to cut the point on the skirt part. This little detail is going to make your life much easier when it's time for assembling. Now you're going to have one last corner to cut. It is for the assembling of the strap with the yoke and you're going to cut on the strap. So flip your yoke over to your strap and you're going to cut only one side, only the side where you have the curve because the other side have two different seam allowance. We are only missing the information on the strap piece and you could put your grain line right in the middle of the piece and this piece is also going to be cut two time in self. Now just to make sure that we're not missing any pieces we should have the back skirt piece, the back yoke, we should have the pocket, the strap and the opening piece. That's it for today, I hope you enjoy. Make sure you're coming back for the assembling of the skirt overall. Thanks for watching and I see you next time.